Hello all. Welcome to the course Azure Data Engineering. So now in this lecture, let us try to understand the data structure that is JSON. So this is very familiar as a data engineer, you must understand clearly. Because uh, the data is going to be in a simple form and you are going to use in many places as a data engineer. Okay. So especially when you are dealing the data with the API endpoints, so JSON is the well familiar data structure which you are using for uh, storing the data and for uh, moving the data to the API endpoints actually. So that's what it's a lightweight format for storing and transporting the data actually. So even if you are using a data factory for your uh, migration purpose, so uh, whenever you are developing any pipeline, so many places you are going to use this structure. So you must be get familiar with this structure actually. So let us try to understand this with a simple uh, understanding. So this is what, for example, if I take a general form of a JSON structure, so it's first of all, it's a full form is JavaScript object notation. Okay. So that's what JSON. So now if you observe, uh, this is what the a simple uh, syntax uh, I took actually. So data is always in the form of field and value pairs. So there will be a field and its corresponding value. So for example, here you can see field one, field two, field five, field six. These are the fields, their corresponding values. So field one corresponding value is this one. Field two corresponding value is this whole thing. And then this is field five corresponding value. Field six corresponding value is this one. But so, but its structure is little different for the some fields, right? So let us try to understand. So data is of course separated by comma. So here there is a comma between field, uh, between this pair, for every pair, there is a comma separator, okay? So main thingly, mainly curly braces hold objects. So for example, here you can see this whole thing, this whole thing is one object. Within that object, this is one field, this is one field, this is one field, this is one field, which are in the same level we can say. Now, field two is also have curly braces as in, in the value place. So this is going to become one object. So that's what it's meaning. Now here, if you observe further, inside of field two, again, you have some other uh, fields and values. So that is what field three, field four and their corresponding values. And further, they must be separate with a comma actually. So such a way also it's possible. Now, another thing, if you observe square brackets, so square brackets, which is actually field six in its value, you have a square bracket. Square bracket is always representing array and inside that you are going to have a objects. So that means this is the one object because from here to here, uh, curly brace pair, and this is another object. So because we, it is array, we know that if you have a values, value one, value two, value three, like this, okay, we know that the, these values, you are going to identify them uniquely with the indexes, is it or not? Okay, so this is going to zeroth index, first index, second index, like that. Similarly, the first object is going to become the index number is what? It's a corresponding index number is zero. And then next index number is one, like that how many objects you have inside the array, their corresponding indexes will be like this. It is starting with zero actually. Because whenever you want to fetch the any values from this any particular uh, object, you must uh, identify that uh, object uniquely. That's what with the index number. So let us try to understand this whole thing in a simple manner. So, and another thing, for example, if I need this particular value five, at that time, I will just use field five. But for example, if I need this value, value two, I need, how I, will, how I can reach this particular value. So this is in the uh, field two, under field two. So I must go up to field two. Then inside field two, you must use the dot operator and inside field two, which if value actually it's a field three actually. So take that field three. 
So that means if I use this structure, I can reach first field two, then uh, hierarchically if you go field three, then it's corresponding value. So it's like a address, for example, country name, then inside country, for example, state name, inside state district name, and then model name, village name, and then house number and address. So how it is navigating from top to bottom. So same manner here also. So for, like, for example, let us try to take a simple thing here. So here, this is what the one JSON structure we taken and name, exam title, role number, marks. These are all in the same level. So that's what you can see. If I want to know name, that's its name is edifulness. Uh, what is exam title? I can get the final. So for example, I want to know the student two role number. For example, this is role number. How I can reach this value? So I should use role number dot. So you came to this particular object. Inside this object, I need this value. That's its corresponding uh, field is student two. So STU two. So this is going to give me this particular value that is what equal to one or two. So this is what curly braces related. So this is going to become one object actually. Now after that, when you come to the marks, if you observe the marks, this is uh, square brackets. So that's mean uh, marks is actually a array actually, is it? So it is a array. Then in that, if you observe, this is the object number one, object number, this is one object, and this is one object, and this is one object. Then its index is index is going to become what actually? So this index is zero, this index is one, this index is two. One more thing actually in the example we haven't seen in the syntax, if it is a array type in a each object, rule is in each object, okay? Value pairs, how many are there in the first uh, object? same number of value pairs will be there in each object inside the array. So every object structure must be same, number of pairs must be same. So in this case, we have three, here also three, here also three. Not only that, not only that. In the first object, what is the first field name, roll number? So second object, field name also must be same. Third object, field name also must be same. So that means whoever is in the first position, in the first position, all names in the all objects of array must be same. Same thing for second field name, third field name. Values may change, but corresponding values, rep uh, respective field names, in every object of array must be same actually. So that's what you must maintain the array. Okay, that structure we must maintain. So for example, if I want to get to know this marks, how I will reach this position. So first of all, to come to here in the high level, marks I should use. So I'm going to take marks. Then observe that marks is actually an array type. So when it is array type, you must use the square brackets. So in, in, in objects, how many objects we have in those objects, which object value you need? So my required value is in the second object. So that means second index object. So take that. So that means first you came to the marks by accessing the index from here you came to here. So now here, out of these three fields, which value we need? I need science, that means science marks. So dot, I'm going to take that corresponding field name I'm going to take. So this is going to give us 95 as a value. So in this way, hierarchically, we will move actually in the JSON structure, okay? Irrespective of its size and its length, okay? but. Uh, Navigation is very important. So we, whenever any value you need, how you will reach for that particular value corresponding field name is very important.
So in this way, basing on the object or basing on the array, we can navigate very easily actually. So this is what the JavaScript object notation, which is JSON. So hope you understand JSON structure clearly. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share the video.